ever wondered how to find the sum of square numbers? For instance, there's the first square number 1, or 1 squared. But now we have the first two square numbers added together. So I've got 1 squared plus 2 squared. And at this stage I can easily calculate that. But it starts getting harder as I start adding more layers to this pyramid. 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared. So I'm just wondering if there's an easier way that we could add those together. But before we start on that, I thought I'd just go back and look at something related and that we might need later. What about the sum of not square numbers, but just the individual numbers? For instance here, how would I add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4? Is there a quick way to do that? That's actually a really famous story about Gauss how he actually managed to do that very quickly when presented with that problem in class. And one way to, to visualise what he did was to actually take two copies of that shape, turn one of them upside down and they fit together nicely. And so then you can see that the sum of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, if you've got that twice, is actually 4 times 5 is 20. So there's a quick way to add those numbers because then all we have to do is halve that and so we can see that 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is 4 times 5 over 2. I wonder if we can use the same sort of idea but go back to our pyramid which is the sum of the square numbers. So this time instead of just adding 2, what happens if we take 3 of those identical pyramids and turn 2 of them upside down and you'll see that they fit pretty neatly onto the first one. Unfortunately, they just leave a few holes. Though one of the holes there is of size one, one of the holes is two deep, one of them is three deep, one of them is four deep. So what I can do is plug those holes up. I can fill them with a one, a two, a three, and a four. And now I've got a nice prism that should actually be fairly easy to calculate. I've got three lots of the pyramid, so three lots of one squared plus two squared plus three squared plus four squared. I had to fill up the holes with the pink cubes with a, a one, a two, a three, and a four. But calculating the total number of cubes there is fairly easy. Notice that it's four rows high, but each face or the top face is five by five, so four times five squared. So now I should start to be able to work backwards from this. First of all, to subtract the 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, which I even know a quick way to do that. That's 4 times 5 on 2. And then finally, I'd be able to divide that by 3, and then that would give me the sum for the pyramid. So I wonder what that looks like if we start to develop that algebraically. Just remember the sum of the first few numbers, say 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, is actually 4 times 5 on 2. But we could write that more generally using the sum notation. So instead of saying the sum of 1 plus 2, we could say it's the sum for i equals 1 to n. And notice that it's equal to n multiplied by n plus 1 on 2. So we'll need that for later. So let's look at how we might go about finding, well, what's the sum of i squared where i equals moves from 1 to n? We actually started then with three lots of that. So I'm going to write three times the sum of i squared. And then we turn those cubes over and we put them together. And now we end up having to fill up the gap. So I've got 3 times the sum of i squared plus the sum of i. And that very neatly turns into a shape that we can calculate pretty easily as n times n plus 1 squared. Notice the n is the height of this prism and the n plus 1 squared is the area of the top. So 3 times the sum of i squared or the pyramid itself all I have to do is subtract the sum of i from both sides. 
and then replace the sum of i with n times n plus 1 on 2 and then neatly I can see n and n times n plus 1 as a common factor so I can take that out the front and I'm left with n plus 1 minus a half just being pretty careful about how I'm going to deal with that that ends up being 2n plus 2 minus 1 over 2 or 2n plus 1 and so 3 lots of the pyramid or 3 lots of the sum of the squares is equal to n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 2 so my final step then divide both sides by 3 just to give me one of the pyramids and then I've got n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 on 6 which is the sum of the first n square numbers.